Good morning, believers. Good morning, Israel. Good morning, Israel. Good morning, good morning. Old man's gonna get some surf today. Ah, oh, had a pretty good day yesterday down here. Caught a few waves. Had some salmon dinner. And uh, just enjoyed uh, God's creation. Our Lord is wonderful in all ways. It's men that create havoc for us. People think Satan, the devil. Satan is Satan's a, in a man, man. Satan is a dude that tells you that Jesus was born of Joseph. That's Satan. All right. Um, let me turn this down. Oh, boy. Slept really good. I'm a great sleeper. I don't know about you folks. Um, I know when you get to a certain age, it's harder. Most people have a harder time sleeping. Shoot. I do 10 hours, no problem. The Lord gives me good rest. So, um... I hope you enjoyed the message on um, <clears throat> Simon the Cyrene. Very interesting, huh? How he how he came from the land of the Sakari, the dagger, <clears throat> the dagger man, um, and how he helped <clears throat> the Lord carry his burden, even though he was a he was forced to do it, and he was a Gentile. Um, goes to show that um, some of these belief systems of these camps, they just don't got it. They, they. I was listening to um, Spiritual Life Lessons, the brother on that channel, I don't know his name, big guy. And, um, Salakia uh, slept out in that, out in the open air last night. And he was saying things about, you know, these camps and how they, they think they, they think they know. They think they know something. That's what's amazing is they, they actually think they're right or, I don't know. He, I, I was wondering whether they, they know they're wrong and they're just um, trying to be pricks. But anyway, um, I'm down here in San Onofre Surf Beach, and I'm going to do a, a message. What came to me, let me, let me honor the Father. Heavenly Father, we love you. We honor you. We praise you. We come before you with a humble and contrite spirit. We ask that your will be done through your son, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christos, Yahawashai, if you're um, following some kind of law system, you might want to break out of that, but um, his name was also Yeshua, Yahshua, Solomon, <clears throat> He came back as Isaac. He was at. He was the first Adam. Same spirit. We're going to go into that today, a little bit. And um, that spirit is the Holy Spirit. That that comforting, that comforting um, word that became flesh to save us um, from ourselves, from our sinful nature, from the wickedness of of man against man. Instead of man loving man, he came to save us from man hating man. So, um, what came to me this morning was uh, the scripture in Hebrews. 
chapter 12. And the Lord put it in my mind. Um, Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. So the author and finisher. I was like, okay, that's that sounds like a good a good teaching. Who what does that mean? What what is the author and finisher? So I I read I read all I'll, I'll um I'll read a couple verses and then we'll we'll break it down. Um Hebrews chapter 12. <clears throat> Wherefore, this is the, this, the title of this section is called The Author and Finisher of Our Faith. Um, wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a crowd of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking on to Jesus, verse 2, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and set down at the right hand of the throne of the power. So, um, seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. What is that? That's all the holy angels and our own brethren watching us. Some of us are here to watch. Some of us are angels in flesh watching each other. And some of us have the ability to judge each other because that's what we're sent to do. We're sent to be a recording device to witness these things. And that's why it says a cloud of witnesses. The witness is everywhere. Not only is the spirit watching you and um, the spirit of the father and the son are watching through the angels and through the other men that are here as fallen angels. Psh, fucking weak ass people, man. Don't understand the Bible at all. And they go around talking nonsense on people like me that are going to witness against them. Silliness. These people have no idea what they're dealing with. They're dealing with a great crowd of witnesses. I being one of them. And you may be being one of them too. Don't doubt your don't doubt your 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 deity, your um the God in you. That's what the Holy Spirit is. People are whacked out of their minds. Not realizing that um we're part of God and God's part of us. We are the power. We just, he, he gives it as he, as he pleases. Um, looking into, onto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. What does author and finisher mean? It means he's the originator. He's the first original. He's an OG. He's the original gangster of this faith. He's, he's the one that started this gang. This cloud of witnesses. He's the one that's that's um, originating and perfecting it. He's the author and finisher of our faith. He's going to perfect us. He's going to perfect the word. The word is not going to go away void. It's not going to walk away without accomplishing what it was sent to do. So being the author and finisher means... He made the story, he wrote the story, and he's going to finish the story. So, um, these camps, these these bastard children of, of Bilal, um, they are going to get finished. It's been written that these, these Pharisees, these wicked um, Hebrews that were probably Edomites, not Israelites, they were Edomites. And that's why it's so funny. Um, sometimes when I comment, when I used to comment on GMS, Great Millstone, the, um, 
the leader of the, the camps with 100% truth. The only ones who break down the scriptures. Oh, 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 oh perfect. Um, the only answer they would have is, oh, for the Lord loved Jacob, but he hated Esau. It's like, yeah, what's your point? They think just because I'm a white guy that I'm that I'm not an Israelite. And they, they see, that's how you know they talk out of both sides of their mouth because they're like, oh, yeah, Israel's going to be from the four corners of the earth. They're going to look like everyone. Um, even even white guys could be could be Israel. Bruce Lee was an Israelite and all this kind of crap. And then they, on the other side of their mouth, they're going, you, you heathen Gentile, your Esau's going to be destroyed. Don't you know that? It's like, yeah, your point. <laughs> you are Esau. So let's continue because this is this is some good stuff. Let's not talk about these bastards. Let's talk about our heavenly brother who's going to set us up with the beauty of the Creator, all the beauty and goodness. Um, looking into onto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the same Salakia, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradictions of sinners against him, lest you be wearied and faint in your minds. Um, for consider him that endured such contradiction. The word contradiction in this case is hostility. So what do we see from these um, <clears throat> from these camps? Hostility, anger, hatred, um, division, um, false doctrine. The, these are the things that um, the Yahushai Jesus had to put up with. Everyone was con contradicting him. What, what are you teaching on the Sabbath for? What's your, what's your woman wearing pants for? Uh, I, I pulled up one of, um, one of the old videos of <clears throat> Apostle Gabar, <clears throat> and he's still arguing about the law. He was, he had a video just last week about <clears throat> one of Vocab's minions calling, calling Sakari or someone out. And he's all, well, first of all, she has pants on. So she's obviously uh, not not Israel. She she doesn't know the law. She doesn't know the Bible. How could she be an apologist? How could she be defending the Bible in pants? You fucking nincompoop. These guys are just waxing worse and worse and worse. And I, I just left him a quick message. Remember, we're not under the law. And so he sent back some comment about the Ten Commandments and Blah, blah, blah. Same story. Same idiots. Um, for consider him that endured such hostility of sinners against him, lest you be wearied and faint in your minds. That's why um, we have to pull away from these false doctrines and these teachers of, of no report, of no good report. Because what they're doing is filling our minds with wicked um, doctrine. And pushing that doctrine and not repenting. And that's what it goes into in the next couple verses. These guys will not turn around. Because they, they, they can't be saved. We could try as hard as we want to say, Brother, you're going off. You're going off. You're going off. They're not going to hear it. Um, lest you be wearied and faint in your minds. It says, um, be discouraged and your soul faints. So our souls are have been traumatized by this nonsense and we've been wearied by their stupidity and their their wicked um, stubbornness. They won't they won't relent, they won't they won't be corrected, and um we have to remember we're here to preach the good news. We're here to um talk about the the good that the Lord has for us. In Jeremiah, the Lord said, I have 
thoughts of good for you and a, a wonderful future, not thoughts of evil. So we have to stay on the um, righteous side of things and say, he is going to take care of me. He is my savior. He is my deliverer. And there is no law that can, that can stop that. There is no, there is no mistake I make that is going to prevent that. There is no, um, the, the only way I can get drawn away is by evil men convincing me of evil doctrine and wickedness. That's what, that's what Hebrews is saying right here. He's got the story. He's the author. He's the one that's telling us. We got to stick with the book. We have to remember he wrote the book. So if we stick in the book and we stay with what it says, we don't have to we don't have to go by the Old Testament. That's what the new covenant is, and that's what the brother keeps talking about. And that's what um that's his dig on on these camps and GMS is that they they forget that they, when Jesus came and put himself on the cross, that's a whole new paradigm, people. The 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 law was just to teach us um what what we could not do. There's no way we could fulfill the law. The law was only, I mean, we all know not to murder. We all know not to steal. But are we still going to steal? Are we still going um, to come against people that, that we think did us wrong and and talk bad on them? That's killing people. I, I've been I've been murdered a couple times by these devils, these these women especially. They don't like what you're doing to you, to them, and they use the system to destroy you. So that's murder. They've I've been I have murderers all in my background, people that said they love me and turned on me. Those are murderers. So it's not just killing someone because there is righteous kills. There's a lot of people on this planet that need to be put in the ground. If if we were under Hebrew law, they would be they'd be done, done already. We would have already hunted down. Sakari GMS, um, IUIC, we would have already hunted these guys down and, and took them out one by one. But that's not that's not our job. That's what we're waiting for now. We know that's that's not our job. The Lord is our finisher and the perfecter of our faith. And we'll we'll see their end. I I put it in the comment last night. We will see the end of these guys. We, we, we will see the end of this wickedness with our own eyes. We'll see it. We'll see it get pushed back down into the pit of hell where it needs to be. These guys are going to have no fun in the future. This is their last little blast of fun where they get to get to mess with us. But, but their wickedness only lasts for a minute. Um, verse four, you have not yet resisted unto blood striving against sin. So um, we haven't we haven't come up against them cutting our heads off yet, or putting the, a bullet in the back of our head. Um, that's what that's what uh, Paul's saying right here. You haven't got you haven't had to sacrifice your life yet. All you've had to do was trust in Him and believe in Him. But there is going to come a time when um, you are going to have to sacrifice to blood. You have not yet resisted unto blood. What's it say? Um, bloodshed. You have not yet resisted unto bloodshed. Um, striving against sin. Waves are coming up. Nice. Verse 5, and you have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. What's it say about children? Sons. We are the sons of God. If we believe that Yahushua was born of God, we get that same spirit. That's where these dumb camps don't get it. The the beauty of Yahushua, Jesus, Yahshua, Solomon coming back and being born of the seed of the power is that's where the power is. How can they have power if they're the son of Joseph? You can't have it both ways. Oh yeah, he was born of Joseph naturally, but he was endowed with the spirit. 
what kind of nonsense is that? It doesn't say that anywhere in the Bible. It never says Joseph laid with her and conceived. It, it never says it. And these guys come up with all these Hebrew hopscotch bullshit scriptures that um, try and prove a point that's unprovable. It's not. That's not how it happened. <laughs> And that's what, that's what this is speaking about right here. And you have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto sons. My son, despise not your chastening of the Lord, which is discipline. If we're telling you, GMS, if we're the men, if you're the men of the Lord and you can't look at the Bible and see that in two different gospels, it says that the Lord was born of the Holy Spirit. If you can't see that, you're through. You're the ones that are through. You're completely done. You're a reprobate. You're, 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 there's no way to save you. You're done. You're irreparable. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. What's it say about faint? Don't be discouraged. See, these guys are all discouraged. No, man. He's the son of Joseph. Let me prove it to you. You're going off. You believe that wacky, tacky Christian shit. No, I believe the Bible, you dumb motherfucker. Slock you. Read the Bible. These guys piss me off, man. They need... Uh, I'm not as calm as, as brother on the... um. On the channel over there, spiritual life lessons. They that's one thing GMS teaches. Don't get emotional. Act like you know. Act like you're the smart ass. You know what? I don't need to act like I'm the smart ass. I am the fucking smart ass. You pricks. Slocky of family. These guys, man, they're leading our people astray. And if that's if that be the Lord's will. Everyone that follows them, that gets destroyed, hallelujah. You deserved every bit of it. Verse 6, for whom the Lord loveth, he disciplines and scourgeth every son, son whom he receiveth. Let me read that again because I screwed it up. It's lucky for the F-bombs. I can't believe these guys are that stupid. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. And scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Do you think this scourging that these guys are giving us isn't going to bring us on to glory? It's kind of good because they're they're stoking the fires of our refinement, while at the same time they're stoking the fires of their destruction. <clears throat> if you endure disciplining, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chast chasten not? Why are why are we why are we telling these guys the truth? Because we're hoping that they're sons, but but their response is that they're bastards. Let me read on. For if you be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are you bastards and not sons? Furthermore, if we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us and we gave them reverence, shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits and live? Let me read that again. Another, another bop on the head of these camps that think all the nonsense they think that, that Joseph is their, is their daddy is going to save them. Furthermore, if we have had fathers of our flesh, flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence, shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits and live? For they verily for a few days chasten us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit, and we might be partakers of his holiness. Um... 
I think I'm going to come back and keep going. It's only 7 o'clock. And it looks like um, I'm going to have plenty of time to pick and choose. It doesn't look like it's going to get windy yet. So I'll be back. Let's um, <clears throat> let's go through this <coughs> Salakia Hebrews 12 a little bit more and um, see what else we can glean about this author and finisher of our faith. Who is this um, son of the uh, father of spirits? I'll be back. <clears throat>